Hi there guys and welcome to this video. In this video we'll be looking at Windows 95 and this is episode 6 in the Windows History series. Ok then, so Windows 95 was released in August 24th 1995. Uh, it was constantly referred to as Windows 4.0 uh, following, following the release of Windows 3.1. Um, it was released as a 16-bit uh, operating system but it did have a 32-bit version as well. Now in Windows 95 there was no Internet Explorer. Um, that was because they wanted you to purchase a uh, what's called the plus pack which was basically an add-on uh, which contained Windows Internet Explorer version 1 now they did however um, introduce Internet Explorer 2 uh, when service release 1 which is just a service pack uh, was released and during ser service release 2 they featured IE3 so it was basically just updated with the latest Internet, Internet Explorer from uh, from that. Um, so yeah, here I am. I'm logged in now. Uh, if we go to programs, we can see that obviously I have this is like a default install, so I haven't got Internet Explorer on here. So if we just click on my computer and click on properties, we can see that all it does is recognise Pentium for the processor, and it says 64 mega RAM, which is what we've got. Obviously we have a sort of device manager. Now if we hold hardware profiles and performance. So okay, so what else have we got? There's not very much in this operating system, so there isn't much to talk about. We've got Microsoft Exchange, which is basically like uh, Outlook Express uh, when it loads up. Okay, so nowadays Microsoft Exchange is based on servers and it just got a new name basically. Um, so it says welcome to Microsoft Exchange. Uh, okay, so yeah, there's that. Not much to say about that really. Now we have got a rather dull background for the the background image, wait, which was followed in '98 as well. So well, I suppose that didn't really matter to people at the time. Programs. What other programs have we got? Now I've got an MS DOS prompt. Now that this is like essentially command prompt. We say, I wonder if it'll do this. There we go. A little echo as well. Very good. So it says copyright Microsoft 1981 to 1995. So that was some time ago now. Okay. So what else have we got? Programs. The Microsoft Network. Now this allowed you to use your modem to connect to what was called the Microsoft Network. I do not want to install a modem, it can't carry on without that. Okay, so you have your network neighbourhood as well. You're going to need a modem for that as well, I'm guessing. Or is it going to do it? No. So yeah, there's that. Obviously, machines tended to be uh, standalone during that time because there was no such thing as the internet, really. There was never any good, it was, so, it was slow and practically unusable. Now it did feature win, uh, a media player, if you can call it a media player I suppose. So what version have we got? Um, it just says uh, media player for 95 uh, and just gives some system resources information so that's pretty boring. Okay, so one thing that I have noticed in on here, we go to shut down uh, we have several options. Shut down the computer, restart the computer, uh, restart the computer in MS DOS mode, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, close all programs and log on as a different user. Now we're going to go into MS DOS mode. What this will do is it will send us to a, basically a DOS prompt like you just saw, saw before. Uh, now uh, MS DOS ran like this, uh, which is why it's got this feature in it. Um, so obviously anything that ran in MS-DOS before um, could still be running Windows 95 because they didn't want to get rid of that uh, functionality. So obviously we can still echo hello. There we go. 
and now there we go exit and it'll say Windows is now restarting so we can get back into Windows so there we go and then we're back into Windows 95 now I believe we do not have a task manager no which is fair enough okay so this is a very min minimal uh, OS um, with not much in it we're going to my computer very basic so we've got floppy C D control panel and printers so I'm just giving it a 2 gig hard drive and it's used nothing of that up if we're going to properties what tiles in there yeah 50 meg it's used up uh, which is quite cool okay so thanks for watching my video on Windows 95 um, please like rate comment and subscribe please remember to check out my forums at www.benstechtips.co.cc um, check out my Facebook page as well at facebook.com forward slash Ben's Tech Tips and also could you please uh, comment below saying whether you ever owned Windows 95 uh, and whether you liked it or whether you ever wanted it okay so thanks for watching